Hi guys, okay, quick update on Bitcoin. So um, I've been hearing this might be a one-two pattern. Um, I don't think that's the case. I think we're dealing with some sort of ABC corrective sequence. This being the A, this is an expanded flat uh, B, and uh, this is the C wave. Now, it looks as though as of this moment in time, we are in wave three of wave three. Now, the reason it's a wave three off wave three, we've got very high volume, very strong candlestick, and we've got good impulsive um, sequence here with the Elliott wave oscillator and the surge in the, in the MACD, okay? That is typically what you see. Now, this is this has been quite an extended wave, really, okay? So th this actually gone past the 1.618. So I think this wave three is gonna top out around 6,800, following which point we'll get some sort of pullback to around 6629 maybe 6598 or so uh, which would make sense because that is previous horizontal uh, resistance and a strong VPVR level and then we're going to get a push up towards um, somewhere around here so the box that I've had for quite a while now um, which I had calculated all the way down here was somewhere between um, 7262 and 7728. Now obviously as this wave starts to progress we have more and more data points so we, we can um, tighten up that box. So I think the wave 5 is going to end up at either this level 7007, 7102 or 7229 to 7293. Wave 5 is going to end up here. I'd be surprised if it, certainly if it goes past here, I'd be very very surprised if, if you see above 8,000 or so. I don't think that's possible. I know one YouTuber said back to 14,000. Um, I think that's that's very, very optimistic. The major markets are looking very shady right now. I think the tech market is about to collapse within uh, 13 trading days. And the large hedge fund managers are going to be back in August. So once they're back, they can authorize much larger sell orders and obviously buy orders too, but they'll be mainly selling because we're heading into... Um, quite turbulent times. Uh, the next 33 months are going to be incredibly volatile. Uh, and Bitcoin was just a precursor to everything that's uh, that's yet to unfold. So um, good luck. So um, that's my count for Bitcoin. Now, obviously, as it hits this, that would have completed some sort of three wave corrective sequence. And then we're going to get a push down. And that push down will be quite fast. Um, and this is a key level. This level hasn't been spoken about. Um, for too long, but it's, it's actually a very, very important level because accounting for these small lower wicks here, Bitcoin has actually held this support level of 5,900, give or take $50, um, since February. So once that line breaks on that Wall Street cheat sheet um, thing, that's where the panic is going to set in and 5,000 is going to break in no time. That's such a big psychological number that will break because there's no one doing business between 55 and 42. So 5,000 is just a random line in the sand. Um, that's going to break and it's going to be all over CNBC. Bitcoin's broke. Bitcoin has broken 5,000 and that will then lead it to go to 4,200 where the buyers will step in. I still think we might get a three wave correction out of that, another X wave, and then the Y wave might end up lower. I projected, you know, Bitcoin going to 2000 or so uh, on November, December the 9th, I think I did that uh, video which went viral. So um, that was even before it topped out because I like to get out before drama happens. Um, but I also like to buy in before the, the the bottom as well because that way you don't you know you you, you just get in so um, and once you're in you're in so but but that was based on calculations that I had done based on this entire wave sequence 4200 is is a very strong support though I, I can't deny that it's very strong volume it's the next fib level the 78.6 and this Genesis line coming up is a very key level as well. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if we get a very strong bounce of 4,200. Similar to this really, similar to this sort of level. Now obviously at 4,200 from a percentage uh, perspective, every $100 move is obviously going to be a greater percentage than it would be here. So because of that, buyers are going to come in. How high they can kill the price up, I'm not too sure. Maybe it'll go to 5,000. Maybe it'll go all the way back up, retest this uh, trend line, and then come back down again. But um, 
there will be a lot of buyers here so i'm very intrigued to see what happens at 4200 because um that would have shaved off this move down would have shaved off at least 25 billion off the market cap if not more and there will be bargain hunters here because a lot of these altcoins the ones that are gonna stay behind like digibyte eos and stuff that they're gonna be very cheap so um we could very well get quite a move but i still feel um and nothing's really changed this opinion other than the fact that 4200 is a key support level um you know a lot of these things can be predicted well ahead of time really so that, that's why i like to use elliot wave i still feel 4200 isn't enough that will cause panic but after panic comes capitulation so i think the real capitulation might not happen until 3000 or so and the target that i've given is 2496 so i'm gonna stick by that for right now but um yeah that's uh that's bitcoin so uh a couple of things i wanted to mention first of all uh the chart guys um credit to them with their inside candles um they are legends when it comes to inside candles so um big up to the chart guys so we've got the high and the low is in between sorry is within the high and the low of the previous candle and this high and low is um within the range of this candle so you get contraction of volume time and price um and then you get a breakout so the way the chart guys do it is a breakout of the high of the second or third inside candle whichever that's a good time to go bullish so that that 6400 was a good time to go bullish obviously that's not an investor's um you know way of trading they're not gonna look at this every day are they but for someone who's trading bitcoin on a daily basis these candle uh patterns are very very important so the one thing i ha i have learned from those guys is inside candles so credit to them i'm not going to take that away from them and we've had that bullish move so you know it's it's um it, it is what it is i mean it looks like a like a c wave to me i'm not going to call this a wave three um it looks like a C wave. I mean, I'm just not happy with the overall pattern. I mean, so that's it. Where have my fibs gone? Oh, that's weird. What's happened? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, so that's 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 my mess. So that's what I'm projecting: a wave three into sixty-eight, a wave four into sixty-six, and then a wave five into maybe seven. You know, psychological number and all that. Retesting this pivot low here. Or potentially here and then we're gonna get a big sell-off again so the shorts are gonna have their day now what's interesting is the BTC USD longs I'm watching this very very carefully here so once everyone is one side of the trade usually the opposite happens and these longs have been increasing now I've actually put an Elliott wave count on this um, you, you you can stick an Elliott wave count on anything because everything moves in fives and threes right so I'm running this as a one two one two three four five three expanded flat four and now five so you can see here we're on way fives on multiple levels and i've got alerts here at thirty six thousand and thirty seven and a half thousand and the reason for that is that is pushing on uh the resistance or the the area that it was back in feb before the big sell-off back in you know march um and april as well and obviously we remember what happened here december 17th we're never going to forget that day are we so um you know once everyone is one side of the trade usually the opposite happens so i think the longs are going to peak out pretty soon and um i think that's going to spell disaster so god knows who's long in this market um may god help them um what are the shorts doing out of interest i mean you don't usually get data from both but one is usually good enough but let's just see what the shorts are doing yeah that's not uh, that's not really giving me any information really so that's not really at an extreme level so i can't really analyze this at all so i'm not, I'm not gonna waste my time so um but the btc usd longs um they're definitely reaching an extreme level so it's very similar to the cot report that we have um for other markets i mean obviously for bitcoin there is no cot report not that i know of anyway so uh but this bit for next btc long this is my cot report so um it looks as though it wants to make a five wave sequence um so that's just the way that i'm analyzing these charts and i suppose 
you know, if you really want to break it down, that might be a diagonal one, that might be a two, maybe it's going to make, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, and then it'll end up at those, why does it do that? It's really annoying. Oh, why does it do that? You've got to double click or something. Uh, ascend, crossing, only once every time. Call it five seconds. Yeah, I don't know why that alert disappears. Okay, forget the alert. Let's just put some lines in there. Let's put a line there. Okay, where's my alert gone? This is... Oh, God, trading view is really annoying at times. There you go. So I've got an alert there. Yeah, okay. So, so you get the point. And now you've got to double-click this. Minutes. Visibility, minutes. Okay, right. So you get the point. Um, it's, it's making... You know, five waves. So maybe we'll get I don't know some sort of one, two, three, four, five, and then into this area, and then we're gonna get um, we're gonna get a massive not a short squeeze, but you're gonna get a massive long squeeze. So that would be um, that would be the equivalent of a short squeeze, but going the other way. So um, that's Bitcoin. Now the Google Trend Score is nine, which is good. So it's going towards three, as I predicted many many months ago, which is a good sign. That means no one's talking about Bitcoin, which is usually the time when we're getting ready to accumulate. Um, so once we have this big panic sell-off below 5K, that'll um, hopefully it'll be time to have a look. See, um, on the weekly, um, not much has changed really on on the weekly. I mean, there, there, there's not much to analyze here. The only other thing to mention is that this 50-week moving average might provide some resistance if it gets to that level. So by next week, that'll probably be around that same 7,000 level or so. So it, it would make sense for it to roll over here. Some people are projecting 8,100 and 10,000. I think I think those levels are quite optimistic, to be honest. Um, this symmetrical line coming down will affect the price and this rising line will affect the price. So we're going to get all kinds of uh, reasons why Bitcoin can't go higher than here. Um, and in interestingly, the 200 week moving average, which is a very important weekly moving average, that is now currently sitting at 25.30. So by August, September time, that will definitely be up to about 3K or so, which is where I'm predicting. So quite likely that will end up supporting the price. So whilst I do think at 4,200, we will get a strong bounce and that is certainly um a buying opportunity in my opinion but you have to have an open mind because it might still go lower but from a risk reward mathematical perspective buying at 4200 if it jumps to 5000 you've made $800 which from a 4200 starting price that's what you know 21% sorry 19% or 18 and 2 thirds of a percent um can't be bothered working it out in my head uh, but you get the point. So um, that's the first time I would actually say on a YouTube video that might be a buying opportunity because I was definitely not saying it here, here, here. But from a risk reward uh, perspective, um, that might be a good buying opportunity. But still, I feel it might go lower because that will be the panic. And after panic comes capitulation. So, you know, call that P, call that capitulation. And then it will go like this and then it will go like this. Uh, and that's it really so um, I'll wrap it up there so if you guys are interested have a look at my Shopify store um, this is the new PDF that I've gone so I've gone through all the major 10 chart patterns and I've wrote, do wrote down uh, from my experience and from my knowledge all the statistical analysis uh, targets for that chart pattern so an example of that is falling wedge I've gone through what a falling wedge is how do you define it what happens to the volume which side it usually breaks up and what the percentage is so you got an idea of the odds and what is the average breakout distance for that particular chart pattern these percentages are not random these have been uh, accumulated over years and years of um, research by uh, Elliott wave and chart pattern traders so they're very very useful and they're very accurate too i've gone over target measuring as well as the average rise for upward breakouts and downward breakout so I've gone through all of these chart patterns here and it's 19 pages so it's a long long time coming and descending triangles are very very here as well so you can have a look and it's one download per customer don't 
don't forget that so don't just download it on the iPhone because it might not work and just download it onto your main uh, computer um, anyway so I'll wrap it up there so if you guys are interested I'll have this PDF as a link in the description and that'll take you straight through I am accepting uh, Bitcoin and Ether payments now too okay so I'll wrap it up there and good luck to you guys and I'll see you guys soon